Uh, hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. Wow, that music is loud. Okay. Ba boom. Welcome to Heavy Bullets. Uh, I'm really excited to play this game. I actually really like this game. What's going on? Customers are dropping like flies because of the security system. Board of Investors won't be pleased. Someone has to get to the mainframe on 8. I forget what's going on. Put up a reward. 5,000 for the services. Some employees are going to die. Yeah, they will. Make sure they sign a waiver. Uh-oh. Oh. Game crashed. Oh, no it didn't. Okay, cool. Welcome to High Rise Hunting Grounds. A safe place to kill. Credit card's not accepted. Go haunt yourself. So I really like this game system. It's a shooter. You've got a revolver. Yeah, you've got this revolver. You pick up bullets. You can only hold six. Jesus. I got blindsided by him. See, so yeah, the idea is that you typically get, um... as many bullets as it takes to kill a guy as you need. Do I? Yeah, you reload like that. Like, I love this like toxic neon. Should be missing, shouldn't be missing. This thing's a problem. Uh-oh. There we go. Could have been handled cleaner, but that'll have to do, I guess. Oh, uh, that was a trap, huh? Well. New game. I got killed by a snake worm. That won't happen again, though. So yeah, it randomly generates every time. I don't know. It's not really a roguelike. You don't really have like a, um, a level system. You just buy stuff, as far as I remember. But you spawn in these like really simple, cool little randomly generated areas. Oh man, they're all around me. I think I should have hit him, but I don't know what happened there. See, and then there's banks and stuff. I don't even have enough for the lowest one. Dang. That max life up looks pretty good. You son of a gun. Mega bomb. So that's, uh, you hit space to use those, they're, uh, they're a big screen clear. I'm, I'm still in the Texan accent from last week. I, um, I, re I recorded a bunch of these back to back and I recorded, uh, these roguelikes one after another and I had a, I was, <laughs> I was in character while I was playing New Vegas and so I have this obnoxious Texas accent like stuck. bank yeah I kind of figure that I'm just gonna lose all my money so can't remember how these work Sell bullets for money, huh? That's probably quite a gimmick. I'd love to have a few more bullets to be getting on with. God damn it, not again. Oh, 
Yeah, that they kind of saw that coming. These things are a real problem, and I don't know how to deal with them yet. Let's see if I can figure out how to... Oh, I could just run past them. See, sometimes this, like, little preamble is, like, kind of weird. Small ore. I, I know it probably says ore. Okay, medbay. It has different stuff this time as well. Shit, this early, huh? Knife, huh? Don't have the money yet. So bullets also sell for half of what they're uh, worth. Good old classic video game capitalism. Yeah, I love this game's, like, sense of style. I don't know what those are for. Let's see. So how does this work? All right, I don't remember what that does. God damn it. Oh, red potion. Yeah, and then them jungle drums come in. That was kind of hairy. Nice. I'm trying to like remember to use my doom fingers, but so it looks like you can reclaim a bullet if you fuck up. <laughs> but yeah, this is. If you were to ask, what does a typical Devolver digital game look like? I would give this as an example. Like, stylized to the point of not looking like anything else in... ever. God damn it. Um, free to have, like, a difficulty set to whatever it wants. Hmm... Oh, uh, yeah, I see. Well, that makes sense. Cool. Silver life, it's passive. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I did it. It's me. Continue. All right. I am lean, mean, and very green. Or no, I'm green and very mean. So I've got four dollars, but also three coins. I don't understand that. Especially because dollars appear to be coin-shaped. Shh. What in God's name? I got killed by an imp. Uh, new best run, though. And I had $5 in insurance. Uh, I'll take a little break, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, then. One moment. For those who are curious, uh, this is what the pause screen looks like. All right. 
So yeah, you have stats as well. But this reminds me of um, not the third No More Heroes game, but the one. Oh God, what is it? Travis Strikes Again, I think. The one that's like kind of a mini game collection, but kind of a more typical game. Oh, I thought he was damn. Oh, they got a weak point. That makes sense. But yeah, I saw this game years ago. Um, I think it might have still been in early access. There we go. But yeah, I saw this game years ago. It might have still been in early access. And I was like, I love what this looks like it might turn into. What was that, that I just grabbed? And there's a secret bank. I love that it leaves the uh, empty bottle behind. That's great, I think. Actually, wait. Scope around. What is that thing? Oh, that's a grenade. That's what the coins are. God damn it. What the hell was that? Oh, yeah. Those snakes, man, they fuck me up. Snake worm. No insurance, no inheritance. So I, I want to understand how the bank works. But yeah, this is a really cool game. Okay, so it always keeps... See, so yeah, it keeps what I have in there. I wish there was a better way to identify snake worms, because those keep getting me. They keep tripping me up. It's pretty consistent. This kind of looks similar to the last run I had. Whoops. See... Snake worms would be an excellent predator in the real world because they're just so fucking deadly. Look at those fucking things. Oh, and I've got my grenades back as well. Oh, those... Yeah, okay, cool. See, it really feels like Doom because, like, you can't jump. I mean, it's reminiscent of Doom, but it uh, it's very, very different from Doom. But it's got the same fast-paced, like, idea of, like, run and gun to a ridiculous extreme. Mother Hubbard! Poison bowls my blood. Okay, well, what does this lead to? Key card. Hmm. Oh, the poison wore off. Well, that's good. So it'll take you down to one hit point. That's pretty standard for poisons. God, that was dangerous. Haha. <laughs> Oh, man, 
This is this is still fantastic. But it all. Oh boy. So our door's getting locked behind me automatically. Oh man. I'm sweating, I'm nervous. Doink. Yeah, bullets. I guess that's why uh, banking your money can be bad. Okay, exit this way. I didn't find that key card or unlock the other thing, but that's okay. Let's continue. See, this is a game that I could probably play. Uh, that's cool. This is a game I could probably play for quite a while. And I imagine I will. Already, huh? In immediate shit's popping off, huh? Can't even get hit. Sugar. Oh, I didn't see the other one. Eh, new best run though. See, I forget exactly what life insurance does. Um, I do like uh, roguelikes with meta edition. In fact, I love them. I, I would say I even prefer them. 118, wow. Mother... God damn it. And there's another bank right here. Weird. All oh, right, I'm being poisoned. Yeah, I just want to bank everything. I don't actually want anything. Yeah, I can, uh... I can unbank my shit whenever I start a game that doesn't start like this. So I lost 18 bucks. Yeah, this is one of my favorite, um, I'm not sure if, th this, is, this is a really good hybrid roguelike shooter. Roguelikes can be something that are hard to, um, I can't deposit, huh? Roguelikes can be something where, um, they, they mesh with quite a few uh, genres of game pretty easily. But there's a few that, like, just don't go well together. What does Backpack do? Tab. I mean, it... It appears to do something. Dead eye. See, I hate big fields like this. I much prefer corridors. Because then I can feel assured that I'm not going to get jumped by a snake worm. You son of a gun. I'm too Texan. I have to dial it down. God, I was going to try to be cool and grab the knife and hit him, but it didn't work out. I was dumb. Also... This is just a minor thing. I love LPing roguelikes because people can't be like, oh, you missed this item, actually. Because it's different every time. I can't miss items. I've just made a choice. And also, going down every path can actually be, like, really exhausting for your character and a, a bad decision. Hell yeah. Oh, boy. I was hoping that I would be close enough for cover. Who? 
Ah, <laughs> oh, clipped me. Well, let's see if we can't um get rid of my money for when I inevitably die. Yeah, this isn't good. Gotta remember to use these more. Oh yeah, that's why I don't use them. They're kind of worthless. I would love a full heal right now. That'd be great. Someone could get me one. Oh, God, penis. Try to get out of its way quick enough. Didn't work. All right, taking another break. And I'm back. It's kicking into high gear. See, so yeah, one thing, it's so abstract in its coloring and its design. I'll go this way. That, like, it almost hurts the eyes. But I honestly don't know if that's a good design decision. God, Mother Hubbard! Oh, it took the hit for me. That's cool. I don't know if that'll help. But yeah, like the the color scheme is just this like big toxic purple and pink and everywhere. God damn you. Well, the good thing about being poisoned is that you can't get poisoned more. A lot of, a lot of key card gates here and there. Oh man, I had a potion too. An imp snuck up on me. Where did that happen? So anyway, yeah, I'm getting distracted. So yeah, like look at this, look at the colors. Just look at it. It's ugh. And that's not bad. I think it's great. Because nothing else looks like this game. Nothing in, uh, like, when? What, what would ever look like this game? I've lost a bullet. There it is. Okay. Um. And so part of this is just because I haven't played a lot, but I feel like a lot of roguelikes do this thing where oh man there you go now I'm getting it now I'm getting it a lot of roguelikes do this thing where um, they allow their first level to be uh, how do I put this boring oh my god I think I killed a worm snake by accident uh, let me give an example like rogue legacy with rogue legacy I uh Let's do one of these, huh? With Rogue Legacy, um, I feel like a lot of people, me included, spent more time playing the first, like, area of the game. But that's, like, the first quarter of the game. Rocket, huh? Well, let's backtrack and see if we can find somebody to use this on. And uh, another thing about this game, sorry, I'm getting distracted. So yeah, the thing that I'm bitching about is I feel like a lot of games um, don't, for God's sake, don't do enough to like invite the player in. Nice. Oh, and it destroys the terrain now, too. Okay. 
not enough roguelikes um i feel can really do um i feel like they could do more to like really draw the player in just like have some shit that can really wow someone Every time I, I drop the silver heart, I get hit. It's like clockwork. Haha. <laughs> Trying to get fancy. That was my mistake. Because, like, in your typical roguelike, you'll probably... It'll go quicker as you play. But a lot of games aren't really built with that in mind. So like the first quarter of the game. Jesus. So like the first quarter of a game. You'll spend half the game playing. You know? Like I really felt that with Rogue Legacy. Because with Rogue Legacy. You spend so much time just like learning how to play the game and um, you know adapting to the new game you're playing and in a lot of cases you're just not strong enough um, because your character is so weak at the start that you physically cannot play and so you need to take several runs to you know level grind and level up your character Shit. Uh, that was needlessly expensive in terms of health. He had it in the corner. He had his little safety box stuffed in his butt. But yeah, it's just something that I feel like some games could do with awareness of and adaption for. Oh, here we go. You Ugh, that spooked me. I hated that. <laughs> Should have gotten more several lives. All right. Because I feel like some roguelikes just don't know how hard they are. Or they don't understand how long the average person is going to actually spend playing it. But that can be nearly impossible to balance. Because, you know, the first part of the game is... You know, the, a quarter of it. Just by size. And in all four parts of the game are the same size, just by space and the area that they take up then that is easier to balance than how long do we think a player will spend here because that's something that requires a lot of QA and so uh, indie games can't get it because one of the biggest things about indie games is that the QA team is um, the QA team is just some guys I finished uh, I'm going to be finishing Cry of Fear pretty soon actually and the QA team is the dev team. Like, the, the QA team is like 20 guys that are all just picked from the internet. The voice actors and the dev team. They're all listed under QA. Which is kind of funny. But, you know. Throw glove. Oh, it probably makes my grenades go further. Yeah, I did it. All right. Continue. I'd like to see level three before I end the video. Having just an extra bullet that's not chambered is useful. Oh, man. All right, let's see what we're working with. What? 
Impossible. I would love a radar. Heads up display. I'm the guy with a big iron. Don't even give him the time of day. So I'm guessing life insurance will make it so that when you die, money that you have banked doesn't go to waste. Or rather, money that you don't have banked. Oh, man. Oh, wait, I know. Come on. I got him. What in God's name was that? A bomb bug. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen this game. A lot of new stuff. A lot, a lot of new. All right. I want to find a permanent upgrade. I want to be able to find a bank and a... Yeah, I want to find a, um, a bank and get some permanent upgrades. I'm really feeling the uh, the lack of character growth. Oh man, this game is so frustrating. Yeah, something that I, I, I wish, um, I would love to see more diverse color palettes that you can get in the opening levels. I don't know if it gets more extreme in the later levels, but I would just love to see more obvious mix-up. Actually... Take this. Oh man, this is a wash. This sucks. And, like, there's not really much I can do about it. You just gotta get good at seeing them. But, like, by their nature as a camouflaged animal, they're difficult to see. Keep hitting R when I mean to press use. Okay. God. I'm getting more scared by these damn things than I am than I did in the whole month of October. Granted, some of those games it's such a slow burn that I didn't well, I say some of those, but Cry of Fear has such a slow burn that I didn't even really get scared into the later episodes. Let's bring let's just bring that out there, huh? Don't tell me, huh? Oh, I walked 
into it. I walked into it. And I'm back. All right, this is going to be the last uh, attempt I take, I think. Assuming it works. Yeah, the screen's black. Okay, I can't see anything. One moment, everyone, little snafu. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is gonna be the last segment. Because for as much as, uh, as much of this game as I've played, not very good at it, but that's okay. I'm learning, I'm having fun. The game is good, the gun is good. I don't know if you all know this, but God gave me this gun to kill. Oh man, really? Jesus. He sniped me around the corner. Hold on now. How about we grab one of these, huh? Also, what does the shop sell from here? Oh, yeah, these things. All right. And now... We will grab carry plus. Uh, carry level two, look at that. And I deposit 20% of the money I, I... Okay, so yeah, that's what life insurance does. Should have thought so. I noticed that the, uh, the bank whispers cha-ching to me. Also, I noticed that uh, I can only deposit, uh, I can't deposit sometimes, which is okay, but you know, a little odd. You, you're the father of lies. Oh, great, more bullets. Why don't I grab more bullets? Actually, let's head here. Banking. Storage. Deposit. Ah, I don't want that. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't permit you to deposit. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. It snuck up on me. I see you. <sighs> Antidote. Interesting. But, um, I don't really see myself using this if you're. Yeah, so. Yeah. All right, and then. Go here, I think. Nope. Trying to be a little more tactical here. Nice. 
Oh, really? Okay, one more try. One more try. That sucked. That sucked and I was embarrassed. Oh, I spent money on insurance even though I didn't have to. I'm a fool. Try me. Hmm. So I lose that when I die, huh? Well, that sucks. Yeah, systems like that always just make me want to never spend my money ever. <sighs> that was really messy. Which means we're going to do one more. Okay, this is going to be the last one. It's going to be a real attempt, and it's going to be the last one. And that you can be sure of. Oh, it's a weird little loop around. Okay. Oh, man. See, I was going to mention... um. This game also has some cues from Bullet Hell. Because, you know, uh, everything kills you in one hit. Or everything hurts you, and you have very limited health, rather. But at the same time, everything dies in one hit. See, they're camouflaged! I can't abide by it! It's against my religion. My anti-snake religion. It's a religion where we hate snakes. We fight Pentecostals. We do battle with them. They whip with their snakes, but we fire with... Big fucking revolvers like this one, I guess. I don't know. I didn't invent it. It's just what my parents believed in, and you know... Since the father and all that shit extra just in case all right Whew. sorry totally just shouted into the uh Microphone there. I don't mind lo losing two. Ah, uh, the rocket's more useful. I'll keep it with me. Ooh, good. How did that happen? Oh, you bit me. That's what happened. Awful little snakeman. All right. If I die, the video will end, so, you know. get smart well uh, that was a uh, heavy bullets everyone I hope you all enjoyed it uh, I certainly do it's a fantastic game and a great roguelike uh, go ahead and buy it it's by devolver digital you can get it on itch.io or steam I believe um, yeah that's basically it uh, thanks for coming see you guys next time bye